Hi everybody. So it's a really hot, sunny day here in Florida. It was like 40 something degrees this morning and so the high is 75, but I think it got hotter than that, you know. Anyway, I am trying to keep up with uh, putting content regularly uh, on my page and please forgive me, I'm doing the best I can with that. Um, at any rate, I wanna let you all know where we are in the process right now. Um, so at this point in the juncture, we receiving, we're receiving emails from staff that kind of direct us in the correct direction for having everything ready uh, on the first day of school, like um, physicals, um, immunizations, background checks, things like that that are required. You know, the email kind of reads sort of like it's time for you to get this done and you know move forward you need to prepare for this create this site and we had to order our white coats so I have that ordered and a few uniforms as well it took a minute for me to decide how I wanted to have my name appear on my white coat so kind of went with my initials um, well no my middle initial excuse me first name last name and middle initial uh, I'm studying still the drug sheet I'm so appreciative of one of my classmates who reached out to make sure that I had the correct um, drug sheet when in fact I didn't there have been some um, additional words uh, not additional words additional drugs <laughs> <laughs> not a spelling test. Not a spelling test, Kobe. Not a spelling test. So there have been some additional uh, drugs uh, added to the the new list in comparison to last year's list. So I have that and I'm studying. I'm learning Anki, A-N-K-I, which is something that I think, you know, if you're coming into this field that you need to become familiar with. A-N-K-I. And, um... Yeah, the, all of the drugs that were listed on my sheet from, well, the sheet that I received um, are still there, but then there are a few additional drugs. So repetition is really good, folks. I mean, you have to find the pattern or the, the, the technique that works to help you remember. So I'm writing them down a lot. I also use Anki. You know, when I'm in bed at night, I wake up three o'clock in the morning or whatever I just open my phone instead of going to my social media and stuff like that I'm on Anki and I'm flipping back and forth you know just trying to keep that stuff in my mind um, you remember how when I don't know maybe some of you not all of you because I'm 49 don't judge me um, we used to have to write over and over like I will not talk during class I will not talk during class and so that's how I'm doing my drug sheet. I also looked at like patterns for um, some of the columns and things like that. To, just trying to put different things in my mind. But what I do know is if I learn it from columns like um, the type of drug, you know, barbiturates and just anyway, at the end of the day, am I learning that a barbiturate is in this square or am I learning that sodium biopentothal pentothal is a barbiturate right so I think I want to learn it you know sodium uh, thiopentol pentothal barbiturate and then the uh, concentration and the IV dosage I think that's the best way to go for me but some of us learn by just looking at patterns so find what works for you when it comes to this kind of stuff um, because you want to get it in I personally think that doing it my way will work better for me because it tells me exactly what that drug is instead of just looking at the pattern and making sure I you know do all the columns because then I'm just learning it for the test but whatever works for you is what you should do Anyway, I also want to tell you all about something I did real quick. I did this uh, community outreach program. It was, it was really nice. 
I wanted to get the word out to more students about anesthesiology assistance. So I chose my high school alma mater, William and Rain Senior High School, and our rival school, which is uh, Rebalt, Jean Rebalt Senior High School here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I first went over to Reigns because my classmate is the principal there and I thought it may be easier to, to get in to speak with him. And um, I told him what I wanted to do, you know, with the kids and I, and he agreed. I mean, he was ecstatic about it. He said, hey, you need to do this at Rebalt too. Let me give you a number of someone. So just like that, you know, it fell into place. And then I created a, a panel of uh, people in the anesthesiology field. And because I was visiting two uh, inner city schools, which means that the majority of the kids are minorities, I wanted to make a panel that resembled uh, the student body. So I found African Americans in the field. I created a panel with myself, um, a retired anesthesiologist, Dr. Gottbold, he was great. Um, Barb Alsi from the uh, NSU Jacksonville campus. She's a second year student. And uh, Barb's speech was, you, you had to be there. You had to be there. She was so good. And she was short, simple, to the point. And she captured attention from the children. And that was what we wanted, you know. Uh, but all the speakers did the very same thing. Dr. Ross, he was phenomenal. Um, he made them laugh. He made everything relatable, you know, um, to kids and, and how you make life decisions. And it was really, really good. But the information getting to the kids, even if they tuck it away somewhere, you know, kind of pull it back when you need it. And um, I, I pretty much just said to students, you know, the, the purpose of the meeting for the day and then you know if you decide to go in a different direction you can always come back here you know um, at any rate it was really good there was a lot of participation from the students they were intrigued they wanted more information they took phone numbers business cards and so it was a good deal I wasn't advertising for a particular school but more so for the field because we want to grow the AA field right and so a good thing to do is to spread the word to the younger people so they can take their they can take courses with this kind of stuff in mind and um, enter into a, a great a great field in the business I mean in the medical in medical business in med in the medical field gosh I can get that out Anyway, a good field in medicine is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Gosh, Kobe. Ah, okay, amateur. <laughs> so, at any rate, um, we accomplished what we wanted. Both schools really appreciated us coming out, you know, with the panel to talk to the students. We did it for about an hour, hour and a half at the most, but about an hour, maybe a little over an hour not much just answering questions basically so um, yeah it was a great experience and I encourage more of you to reach out you know to help our field grow get to the kids talk about it before uh, they go off to college so that they know what prerequisites they need to take so if this is intriguing to you you you, you learn more about it, you know, make decisions based on that and go for it. Maybe they don't have to stop at anesthesiology assistant, you know, and go into anesthesia. Yeah. Well, at any rate, I plan to do it more often. The schools invited me back, so that was really good too. Uh, yeah, so if you can, reach out to the kids. Let them know about what we're doing and how rewarding it is. You know, you get to really help people in a phenomenal way, in a major way, in a very important way, and it pays well. When we talked about that with the kids, you know, the uh, work versus pay, they were okay with it.
just like we are <laughs> okay so anyway thank you for your time and I'll get better at this I promise right now I'm still winding things down my home hasn't rented people in North Florida are going crazy when I posted on Facebook oh they ripped me over and over and over again about the pricing but then when I go on Zillow I'm like 160 bucks or so under what Zillow says um, I should be renting for so I'm gonna steady the path you know and just let that be what it is and keep trying to find somewhere in South Florida I decided to stop really looking hard you know and just kind of wait until I get there and get a feel for everything and the drives from whatever place I'm looking at to the school you know things like that so I'm gonna calm down <laughs> all right I wish you all the best bye bye